Hey guys, it's Luxury Mogul here. It's Saturday, which means it's time for another battle video. Now, because I am incredibly busy this weekend, I will not have a Luxury Mogul coverage up tomorrow. So, this will be your weekend entertainment. <laughs> so, I hope you don't mind. Um, I'll be playing Razor Kills again. But, yes, this will be weekend entertainment because I am incredibly busy. This is actually a pre-recorded game that I am voicing over right now. And, and so the other guy goes first, and so I'm just recording, uh, just voice, uh, voice overing this to be uploaded. I'm not going to be uploading, uh, making a removal coverage this week, because I am incredibly busy. So the other guy starts in the Molga, it's not the good one, it's the one from, I don't know what set, I believe it's Noble Victories, but it's not the good one. And um, I start off with a Zekrom and I have a Quaza EX on the bench plays an engineer's adjustments, and the really bad thing is, because the rotation hasn't happened yet uh, online, which doesn't give us the option to play un in Unlimited or in the Premier, uh, the rot the, I mean, play in the rotation, um, we're still going to see some old cards uh, in play right now, and obviously that does serve as a very unfair advantage for people who are playing with Black and White on format. Because we don't have all the good, we have we don't have all the older cards like Junk Arm, Engineer's Adjustments, which wasn't actually that good anyways. But um, I did like Engineer's Adjustments, but you know things like Junk Arm, um, Collector, it gives them a significant advantage for that. I believe Emoga used Call for Family again, which I don't mind. Uh, I decide to hold. I decide to attach the okay. I decide to attach the Giant Cape to Zekrom, which now gives it 150 hit points. It actually changes it on the card, so it's easier for you to calculate everything. So, oh yes, so that, it is the Battle Volga. I don't remember from which set, I didn't see it. But, um, yes, I decided to add the Giant Cape on Zekrom, just to make it a little harder to knock out, so I can start attacking with it. And, you know, doing more damage, of course, especially with Outrage being in play. He plays Silent. Uh... I don't really like Silent. It's, I've I've already said that last time. It's a waste of a supporter for your turn to get energy instead of getting something else like a Juniper. But life goes on. He attaches an energy to Zekrom. I'm assuming it's a he. Um, evolve electric, and then attach. I will attach an energy to Zekrom to attach to attack for twenty. I remember this part of the of the uh, battle was very very painstaking because it was it took a very very long time. So what really annoys me is that you can't really see the other person, so you don't even know what they're doing. And, you know, a lot of people, a lot of trollers online really like to kind of just, if they're losing, to kind of just hold off and not do anything until, like, time runs out or something, just to try to make you concede. Be try to waste your time and concede. I know this guy isn't one of them, but luckily, but slow player, if you're a slow player, you piss me off. I'm sorry. <laughs> because, I mean, in real life, you wouldn't be taking this long. <laughs> but... I don't mind, I really don't mind, but on times like this, when this video might take a long time, I really don't want to do that less. So I didn't, uh, didn't want to do Bolt Strike, because it's a waste of, I, I do 4 damage to myself and I don't want that, especially with the Zekrom on the bench there. Which can easily one-shot me if I do do that. So uh, I decide that if he's going to keep the Emolga up as bait for me to knock out for a free prize, then it's going to take two more turns, and it's going to give him some plenty of time to uh, set up some other things. But of course, obviously I'm not, if I had a catcher, I would catch up the Zekrom right now and just kill it. But I don't have a catcher, and I don't have a plus power yet. So that is going to have to hold off. If I had a plus power, I would actually kill it off right now. The Amoka. But the Tynamo comes out, another Tynamo. I deliberate trying to play the Communicator. But instead, I debate against it and set up the Tynamo instead. It is a lot better to uh, set up more Tynamo later on, so you have a better sense of acceleration. 
energy acceleration because as of course energy acceleration is pretty relatively essential in this format except for Garchomp Alteria and Darkrai Hydreigon whose energies well dark uh, uh, to a point Darkrai Hydreigon is pretty is a pretty energy acceleration deck as well but Garchomp Alteria attacks with one energy one or two energy so it's not as important to that deck as it is important to Zekios. So there's a fully loaded Zekrom on the bench next, uh, over there, and it's looking very, very threatening. <laughs> so obviously I don't want to do Bolt Strike now and pull it out, because that doesn't look too promising for me. Yeah, like this is what I mean. Rescue Scarf, and I get pretty pissed, because a Rescue Scarf is still glitched. So I'm pretty upset that he would do that kind of thing. He gets onto the Zekrom. Uh, gets on the Zekrom. Gets the Zekrom, I mean. That's what I meant. I'm not going to Bolt Strike it because it gives him too much damage. Because it gives him too much damage and he'll be able to knock me out next turn. So, I think I decided to use Outrage. I'm thinking pretty hard here. <laughs> so yeah, I think I, I just had to use uh, Outrage. Just because um, even if he does attack with Bolt Strike, he can't. He can knock me out with Bolt Strike. Can he? I don't know. I'm not sure. I think he can. That's a bummer. I think I was I think I made a little bit of a misplay here and put myself in a tough position. But that is alright. That is alright. I think the other guy's deliberating what to do now. I think it made more sense for me to do outrage, but then I realized uh I'm dead either way, so doing the bolt strike could have been easier on me, because I'll be dead anyway, either way. Though with him using outrage to knock me out or to use Bolt Strike to knock me out. He plays a Juniper, discards all his cards, and draws a new hand of 7, which is a very powerful card by the way. It looks like he's found another Zekrom. And he has 4 energy attached to his Zekrom, which I don't understand why, but he, I don't know what he's doing. Communicator. Communicator to Shinx for a Pikachu, and Bolt Strikes, which is funny because he... no. I don't, I don't, no, that's right, that's right. He couldn't have knocked me out without rage. So, Ball Strike was the way to go. Uh, I play a Communicator to try to find uh, something that can help me right now, because I'm in a pretty tight situation. I don't want to take out Rayquaza, especially since I do not have any energy on it right now. And then this is when I click close, and I miss, I just completely mess up. This is when I realized that, I, because I, I, wasn't, I still wasn't familiar with the of uh, the format of the stuff, so I was trying to move up, but instead of moving up, I went close. So, you see, that, that is an example of another thing that doesn't happen in real life. You Like, if you want the card, you will get it, and you won't have difficulty trying to access your entire deck. That's why I like the older format, where it showed only the cards that you were able to choose, Instead of making you scroll through the entire deck, and especially on slower computers, it's harder to do that. But yes, he's found he's played another silent to get more energy. And I use Dynamotor two times on Rayquaza, and I'm ready to attack if I have another if I get a fire energy. Now Rayquaza is one of those cards that I would have really liked live. To have it live. So he attacks for Ball Strike. And he knocks himself out, which is really weird, because he could have attacked me with... Um, he could have attacked me with... Uh, do, 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 uh, with Outrage, and still have knocked me out. So, maybe he hasn't used Zekrom a lot, so he's not familiar with the uh, versatility of Zekrom. With, the out, with Outrage and... Because I'm pretty sure he would have been able to knock me out with out Outrage. So he knocks out one of my uh, Zekios, which isn't too bad. I need to fire I click uh revive. Uh no, I played a what did I play? Level Ball. Should try to find a Pokemon. 
I can use, and I choose Tynemo. Then I commute. Oh, I don't communicate it. Okay. I use Celestial Roar, and none of the cards I discarded helps me, so that was a waste of an attack. I mean, Celestial Roar is also is actually a great way to accelerate your deck to get to where you want first. But obviously you run into the risk of discarding cards like you need, so like I just discarded Super Rod. So that's a big problem too. But... Yeah, so he has Raichu up right now, and... I am in a pretty tough position, to be honest. Engineer's Adjustments again, discards a Metal Energy to play, to get uh, four cards. Which is a great card in the last format, by the way. But now, of course, after Engineer's Adjustments got rated out, Juniper and N rule this format. Juniper and N. Those two are the big ones. Sharon and Bianca are pretty good as well. But... I play Revive to revive my Zekrom. And I play N for hand for ultimate hand disruption. I draw Mewtwo EX, which is great. I did I debate putting it onto the bench, and I do. And I attach the energy to Mewtwo, and I play Celestial Roar. I use Celestial Roar and I get a lightning energy, which isn't really helpful to me anyways, because I need a fire energy. So not a great discard, but I really need a fire energy, so. I go through some of the cards, kind of look at the attacks and stuff. Zekrom is fully charged on the bench, so I do have a catcher on my hand, so if I do manage to get a fire energy, I think that's going to be the first one to, that I will get. That one I will attack, I mean. Not much in my hand, I got a Zekrom EX, probably shouldn't be using that right now anyways. So I'm going to try my luck again and use Celestial Roar, I get a Prism and a Double Colorless attached, so I do. I, I will be able to use Celestial Roar next turn, with the uh, Prism Energy serving as a Fire Energy. And of course with the Catcher there, I think I will aim for the Zekrom. It's a waste of an extra uh, Lightning Energy, but that's completely fine. Hoping to also get another Electric out to accelerate more energy. As you can see, I check my deck, 25 cards, which is pretty decent. I still have a little bit under half my deck left. Do, do, do. There's two Zekroms on the bench, which is really scary. Which I actually, which reminds me that the Rescue Scarf is actually no longer glitched from uh, what I've uh, seen on the battle. So, I don't know if it was just the Mac client or if it was some bug, but it looks, it appears as if it was fixed now. So, that is good news. Now we can play Rescue Scarf uh, freely now. <laughs> uh, Sharon? I, I sure hope the guy wasn't trying to take advantage of the glitch. That's what I was thinking. I just hope he wasn't trying to take advantage of the glitch. But, I did get a prize for that Zekrom, which is good. And right now, I seem to have gotten from an uncomfortable position to a Decent position. I only have one electric on my bench, although I would like more of that, but decent. One electric. Hopefully I can get another one this turn so I can accelerate some energy. He switches to a Molga and attacks with Bounce. This, which does 30 damage, and you switch with one of your bench Pokemon. So I don't know what card I just played. I believe it was a level ball. Yes, it was a level ball. Yeah, the logo covers a little bit of it. I catch her up the Zekrom, and I evolve to Electric. And then I attack with Dragon Burst. And I discard all my Electric Energy to do 180 damage. Which is a little bit of an old overkill, but I, it's not, it's, I guess it's, it's, you need to do it, because it has 130 hit points. The Magic 130. Most attacks usually hit for 120 and less, so... I draw a prize for the Zekrom, and now we're equal with prizes. Plays an energy retrieval to get uh, two energy back into his hand. 
I really don't know what he's playing. It's like some electric deck. I would really start like to start playing some metagame, playing against some metagame decks, but not really happening right now. The all the decks I've been playing are really rogue, like no clear strategy, and all the decks I've been seeing are really kind of not really in the metagame kind of thing. So I don't really get to practice too much, but that's okay because I probably won't be doing too many live battles anytime soon. So. Yes, yeah, so there's a Registeel EX. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's all over the place. Uh, this deck is all over the place. I have no idea what he's playing. <laughs> so I just look up Registeel EX a little bit. I don't like it. It looks really threatening. And because he has Metal Energy in his deck, he's. Uh, the way it seems, he is planning on running Zekrom. So he uses Bounce and switches with uh, Pikachu. I use Dynamotor on uh, who? Mewtwo EX. I use another Dynamotor on Mewtwo EX. I believe. Okay, I have no idea why I did that. Oh right, that makes mess that makes sense. Pikachu I know Pikachu only has fifty hit points, so to attach too much energy to Mewtwo is a little pointless. So I attached to Zekrom. And then I knock out Pikachu with a plus power. Thinking about it now, I should have attached the extra electric energy to Rayquaza. Just because, but that's not going to happen now. I get a fire energy from my prize cards, which may be a little useful, but I don't want to be discarding fire energy from Rayquaza, because I do need that fire energy. So I do attach the fire energy to Rayquaza, and attach, I use Dynamotor to attach another lightning to Rayquaza to charge up to be ready to attack. I look, at, I look up Luxio, he has 80 damage, so I do need to be able to attack for 80, so I continue to attack with Mewtwo instead of Rayquaza. Prism energies don't get discarded in uh in that in the real in uh on the online battles. I don't know if they're allowed to do that. I don't know if you are allowed to discard prism energy as lightning or fire during the real game either, so I'm not sure how it gets determined. But um just in general I do not have enough energy to attack. Uh, with Rayquaza to do a decent amount of damage. Now Luxio only has 40 hit points la remaining, so if I choose to uh, use Rayquaza next turn, I don't think it will be a problem. But I think I would be charging up for Registeel because that looks incredibly threatening right now. So, it is still his turn, and he switches with he retreats or switches with uh, Imolga and does the little bouncing again. Plays Rescue Scarf on Zekrom, and by this time I really don't mind because it really is, it's not glitched anymore, so I don't mind. Now, this is interesting because now he takes out Zekrom EX and he has 3 energy attached. So I attached a Prism Energy to Mewtwo, and then I play a plus power, which is enough to X Ball it to knock it out. And that is why I love the versatility of Mewtwo. I get a Juniper in my hand, and Zekrom gets returned back to his hand as well. So Juniper is a very significant advantage for me. Because I still have, I think I still have plenty of cards left in my deck, so I do, I can use that Juniper to get uh, some cards I really need. But by now, I'm pretty much set up, a little, uh, mostly set up, so I don't really need too much. Take some Emolga, I look at my discard pile. I'm really just looking for how- I, I think I ran two or three catchers, so I'm really just looking at my discard to see how many catchers I have. I believe there should be one more catcher in my deck, so I might try to push it with the Juniper. But Imol the Omolgo only has 10 hit points left, and it is pissing me off. It only does- yeah, sure, it only does 10 it only does like 10 damage, but it really is pissing me off. 
because they, they, to be able to, you know, hit for 30 and then be protected, because I don't have a catcher right now, that's a pretty good strategy as well, but not a very consistent strategy. Uh, so I do play the Juniper. I get two double colors energy, two electric energy, and a Sky Arrow. So I, I deliberately try to play the Sky Arrow, because if I do play the Sky Arrow, that gives his Amolga a significant advantage. I do, I attach to uh, Zekrom. And I am still deliberating whether I should play the Sky Arrow Bridge. I don't. I don't play. I don't play the Sky Arrow Bridge. I don't play the Sky Arrow Bridge. So. Oh, my mom is shouting in the background. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She's just shouting in the background. It's so annoying. Alright. Takes a, I do knock out the Luxio. I get a prize for the Luxio. And Registeliaxis has come out, like I predicted. So, I don't know what he's doing. So he ends his turn, so he doesn't know what he's doing either. <laughs> but he puts himself in quite an uncomfortable position because Registeel has no energy. Again, I deliberate to putting on the Sky Rubbish. I have so much energy on Rayquaza right now. I try to scoop up the Mewtwo and it doesn't work, so I do play the Sky Rubbish. And I retreat it for one less energy. I use Dynamotor again and attach it to Zekrom EX. And then I attack. Now this is when I think that a Prism Energy gets discarded and it doesn't, so it only does 120 damage. And I'm pretty sad about I'm pretty upset about that, but because uh, Reg, uh bef because Registeel EX needs three energy to attack, and he doesn't have a significant amount of acceleration anyways, I'm pretty confident that I have uh, have it in the bag now by now. So he plays interviewer's questions to get a bunch of energy into his hand, but I really, I really doubt that he'll be able to take out um, enough energy to be able to attack with Registeel this turn to not to even be able to do any damage to Rayquaza. So he attaches it to Zekrom and switches. So Z uh, no, <laughs> of course, the Emolga comes out, and then probably Emolga will attack for thirty, and, and he retreats for. So that that really makes no sense for me, but he could have just switched instead of wasting energy, but that may have been a misplay on his part. So I do a bunch of Dynamotor. I do a bunch of Dynamotor on Mewtwo, because now I realize that because his Mewtwo has a bunch of energy on it, I'm not going to try to bother attacking with Rayquaza. I'm just going to attack with Mewtwo and kill it with X-Ball. I play the X I play the plus power just in case, and I attack for 170 damage, which is actually enough for me to knock it out. And then there is the signature freeze that happens after the game. So he would have uh ended up better if he did end up I mean, I pretty much did get it in a bag because Mewtwo EX did have a bunch of energy on the bench, and Rayquaza was ready to retreat anyways because it retreated for free. So And that is the game! Um, I took a look at the stats. I really hope you enjoyed this game. Uh, there's no Lux and Roll coverage tomorrow, but uh, we will be back full force next week. So, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.